okay now i'm going to introduce controlling module to you controlling module is uh, an important module it has uh, cost center accounting profit center accounting internal or accounting is the main uh, modules under the controlling module these are the three main modules okay and there's also product costing which comes under controlling however I'm not going to cover product costing now under the controlling module I'll cover product costing later on as an uh, as a second part of controlling module first let us focus on these three modules under the controlling module I'm going to explain the importance of controlling module and why it is required in addition to the FI module okay now I have this profit and loss where I have one item booked under the expenses which is staff party expenses All right. If you look at this profit and loss statement, uh, an amount of twenty thousand dollars has been spent for the staff's party expenses, which means that um, this will be shown to the external readers of this uh, financial statement, who generally the shareholders of the company or any other stakeholders who are interested in the financial position of this company so for the external readers of the financial statement this simple information is good enough for them to understand that the business has spent twenty thousand dollars on uh, staff party expenses alone for a particular period however for the company itself this is not enough this information is not enough to track whether a company is overspending or underspending on a particular expense because for them to actually cut down this expense they need to know which departments or which staff has, has uh, triggered this sort of expenses in the company in the organization wide so this is a cumulative figure for the entire company spent for the staff's party expenses so what we need to do is we need to know the details of which department spent how much in order to narrow down to the particular department which has spent more than the other department so that something can be done to reduce this sort of expenses for the, for the departments which have uh, spent a lot on staff's party expenses so um, when I say that uh, the business needs to know the details of uh, what made up this figure this is what we call internal controlling within a business so uh, the external controlling or external information to the external uh, third party uh, stakeholders is different from this internal controlling because for the external third parties they need not uh, have to know which departments have spent or which departments uh, have spent how much to make up this total of 20,000 so that is none of their business and uh, it is a, it is in the interest of the company to find out which departments have spent how much so that uh, something needs to be something can be done to reduce these expenses so having said that let me draw this line so that we can understand external reporting and internal reporting right on my right hand side let's assume is external reporting external reporting on my left hand side it will be internal reporting so the difference between external reporting and internal reporting is what I've just explained external reporting is all about reporting a, a, a company's financial position to the external third-party stakeholders such as the government uh, shareholders 
or the owner of the company and um, tax department and so forth so they come under this group external reporting all right the internal reporting is purely meant for the managers of this company or, or, or the finance department of this company because the details of what made up this 20,000 is only need to know by these managers so that they can control the costs so this is what we call internal reporting so let me list it down external reporting this the readers are government shareholders and etc etc and the internal reporting the readers are managers of the company and sometimes the staffs themselves okay this is a difference so what is what is known as external reporting is this whole figure without any other further details so what is known as internal reporting is the details which make up this 20,000 right, which department use how much and so forth those details are known as internal reporting so um, if I have to map this internal reporting and external reporting to our uh, SAP modules this whole thing is known as FI module and this whole thing is known as controlling module so anything which comes on the internal reporting is known as controlling module anything which comes on the external reporting is called FI module this is how you can differentiate so now you could have understood what controlling module is all about and what how it differentiates from the, the main FI module controlling module which is for the internal reporting FI module which is for the external reporting so I'm going to show you how SAP allows you to uh, break down this 20,000 a total amount of 20,000 for staff's party expenses into individual amounts for the respective departments which is in which the expenses have been incurred okay I'm going to show you I'm also going to show you which sub module within the controlling module can be used to store this kind of subdivisions of the total expenses amount right okay that is the cost center accounting module right